in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the finale episode, but... Ah! Uh, Still no pants, and you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. On par with the 13 crowns. I did not know about that. Really? That's kind of huge. You know, Sully just gave you the comparison that you're on par. That's kind of huge. Wait, what? Are these two rivals? Oh. oh. I don't know much about her, but I remember her, I think, a bit. She was very, like, uh, yeah, she talks a lot of shit. I think this is from, like, season one when they first introduced 13. <laughs> What's, going, what's going on here? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, damn it. Stop saying damn it. What are we doing here, damn it? But Batsuko is like, she's like a rival to her. And if she's in the 13 crowns, then she's pretty much on the level, I guess. And her lame clothes. You guys are pretty much like the same kind of like, she's more like gothic Lolita. And she's, and then Batsuko is more like, um, colorful, I guess. Well, Iruma actually kind of ended up saving her, I'd say. Because remember Batsuko's backstory, how it was so sad. Everybody couldn't live up to her expectations and slowly quit one by one. But Iruma didn't quit. He was there all the time. He withstood everything. <laughs> Batsuko and Iruma's like relationship, how it developed. Number one student. It's so precious. Look how proud Opera is in the background. But I still want to know what's going on with Solomon and Batsuko. What is, what is this past? Why does she want his compliments so much? You're flushing. I love him. What is this? Young Bachiko. Sully. It <laughs> looks the same as ever. <laughs> this dude doesn't change appearances. Oh, cute bow. It's for you. Sullivan gave Bachiko a bow. And ever since then, she was like, Oh, oh my god. Sullivan Sama. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. I mean, this is, I guess, enough of a backstory, I guess. I... <laughs> Very few words. Yeah? Things just changed? Okay. The mood just changed completely. Wait, what the? It went from cute little tea party to, like, super secret exec meeting. Huh? All these top demons are disappearing. It's gotta be Bal's crew. Why would- is he like taking them out for less competition? Suspects. The six fingers. The six fingers. Oh no, remember her? I forgot her name, the silver-haired girl. Remember? She was at the- she was at the park and helping eat him with the ice cream and- How could you betray us like that? Shoot an arrow to find them? Not in here though, not in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa relax, relax. Uh, and not serious anymore. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> she was ready to shoot that thing, man. Concentrate on education for the kids instead. Alright, we're just... Wait, is this the first time we're seeing Sullivan's eye? One of his eyes is actually open. Yo. How we... She's getting rizzed up as usual. But, like, I don't think we've ever seen Sullivan's eye. Ever. Ever. Uh, she is so down bad for Sully, man. Of course, of course. You. Wait, wait, you all? You? Uh, you just said that he's a human. Is that a secret? Secret's out. This is a special tutor. She, I guess she, I guess he trusts her. I, I guess he trusts her enough to say that. Yeah, like... So... Because Bal knows about it now. Now Batsuko knows about it. Balam does. Kalago still doesn't know. I think Kalago might have some, like, suspicions. <laughs> she like me to erase. Protect. Protect. But why is Sullivan so invested in Iruma? 
other than the fact that oh it's my cute little grandson like he specifically scouted him for a reason there's got to be a deeper reason why Irumo was picked to be the grandson it's not just random <laughs> Dude, Sullivan always just turns into this cute little egg chibi form, man. And like, it's so hard to take him seriously sometimes, but you just saw how epic he was, right? He's too kind to be a demon? What? He's the only student for me. Huh. That's so nice that she would accept him no matter what. Looking after you as and use him as your professional maid servant. Like, okay, fine. Uh, no, definitely not. Maybe, maybe sometimes. Yeah, we did. Yes, it was all part of training. Ah, you're not helping here by saying that. <laughs> that horse just kicked that gate open. <laughs> Damn, dude. Azaz's house is so loaded. What is this? I think it might be more extra than Sullivan's mansion. What the f This is huge. What is this dude yeah and then clara's place is just like a rock <laughs> it's just like patrick's house from spongebob rank oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're a little special now and clara still dude clara cheesed her way to some higher ranks early in the beginning by climbing on azas right no i think clara's gonna like uh catch up pretty quick because of the fact that we're like flexing so much, why does Clara reach like rank 5 before both of those two for some reason? It just makes sense, right? <laughs> you don't have to shit on her so hard. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, whatever. But I, but like the first time Clara got the high rank, it was because she was literally on Azaz's back during that whole trial. The first trial ever, right? Clara versus Azaz. Unironically, I think it would be decently close because Clara's realm is it's it's broken. If Azaz gets drawn in the in, in her own box, then she would get like drained of all his mana. He wouldn't know what's going on unless he could like realize and snap out of it. But like she is super strong because of that power. Azaz's place super fancy. And wait, this is just Iduma posters. He even has himself. Oh, that's an evil Iduma right there. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a cult of worshiping Iduma. Yeah. Dude, the first episode ever where Iduma suplexed uh, Azaz, he has that on there. Oh, Falfall came out. Wait, let's call Kaligo. Where's Eggy Sensei? Let's call Kaligo. Come on. Call your familiar too. Yeah, yeah, we should, yeah. <laughs> Oi, how dare you? <laughs> oh, come on, I think it'd be hilarious. Man, Fal Fal and Gorgon Snake are getting along really well in the background. It's actually kind of cute. I wonder if Fal Fal will actually ride on Gorgon Snake during some kind of epic battle in the future. That'd be really cool. Where's uh, Azaz's mom? Are they around? Where's mom? I think Iduma's gonna run into mom. Or even more importantly, we've never seen the dad yet. Hmm. Mom? Mom? Huh? What? But what? They're demons and you're a human? What? The secret. We haven't told anybody. Well, a couple people know now. Should we tell them? Should the secret be out? I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough question. Should we tell them? They wouldn't. I think everybody would accept them no matter what. That's his probably biggest complex. Like, what if they do direct us? Mom. Mom. Wait, that's not mom. Is that mom? Okay, it's mom. Oh my god, mom. Okay. The claws looked a little dangerous there, but oh my goodness. Oh, oh my... <laughs> Relax, relax. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But as I said, mom, remember, she's the milf of seduction, right? God damn, she's still diff. Oh my god, mom. When you say Ara like that, oh, you, oh my god. Well, I feel like some secrets you don't have to tell people. Oh, she's so cool right now. Are you happy right now? I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Is she seducing us? 
This is actually good advice, though. Be beyond, beyond the horny memes right now, this is actually... Okay. All right. Let's be freer and sexier. <laughs> and Ida was taking this like, oh, okay, I'm taking some notes right now. Well, I think she's right. Like, if he's not comfortable telling them a secret, it's not anything that's gonna... That's, like, dangerous or bad. Although, I guess you could argue that being a human is in a demon world is... I don't know. But it's like, he shouldn't have to tell them if he's not comfortable. But even if he did, I bet they would accept him no matter what. Hello, mother. Wait, Inuma, did he get dressed up like a... <laughs> Dude, this author really takes every chance he gets to dress up Inuma as, like, a cute girl. Like, he loves cross-dressing Inuma, huh? It's been a while since the Idol Irumia episodes, but, uh, look at that. I don't know if this is, uh, actually, this looks like a really, like, cute little prince, uh, outfit. Hmm? Yeah, in this outfit, you're gonna tell them the secret right now? Oh, shit, the sunset. Wait, this lighting tells me that shit's gonna get serious. Usually in anime, whenever there's this kind of, like, shading of lighting, it's some serious moments. Mm, that was so cool, dude. That shit was so cool when Azza saved us. Dude, that came out of nowhere. It was even cooler when he threatened Orobus. Like, dude, I'll lop your head off. And Clara, you baited us into your realm and sucked us of all your mana. But she gave it back to us. Like, she did give it back. That was important. That was so important. If we didn't have that, we couldn't have done it. Oh, oh. No, relax. Amity ship. The ship is Amity. Stay focused. I will not fall for the Clara ship. Because it hurts me. Because I love Clara so much. I don't want her to get hurt, man. I'm a human. I trust both of you to say. Yeah? But? I'm a human? Okay, maybe he won't tell them. He's just like honestly just telling them. We, we just appreciate you so much. This is so nice. Oh, These trios, man. This trio is so good. I love them so much. It's from like day one. These are the OG three. That's right. In the future, I wonder what kind of role Clara and like Azaz will play as Iruma becomes the demon king. It's gonna be crazy how they were such cute friends in the past and then later they'll be in probably some like serious like epic roles. Music festival. That's right, it's the next festival that's good. Music festival? What? How did you make that music festival in the manga, man? Because like the manga, there's no music, you know, it's just drawing. What? Are we? What? What other one? Huh? One more rank in bed. What? Is this the ghost of the misfit? You, yeah, this guy! This guy! He was always there, but he was never there! Bro! They actually sent this guy to do nothing for fucking three seasons! Yeah! Because, like, in the early episodes, remember? He would show up at, like, like, one frame, and then he would be gone. This dude has been part of a class the entire time, but they never actually gave him any, like, proper screen time. What is this dude? So this is like leading up to season 4 stuff. Like, are you serious? He spent three seasons just setting this character up to do nothing. And then we're like, hey, by the way, there's one more mission amongst you. It's like, what the fuck? And that, my friends, is the end of Irumakun Season 3. This series has been a special series for me. Whenever I first started this channel, I started out with Irumakun reactions and surprisingly enough, built a nice core community that really loved this series. It's been such a wholesome vibe of like, like happiness, like comforts, epic moments it really gave me these old shonen vibes that i used to watch back in the day from this series i don't know how but it just reminded me of that man three seasons of prep for this guy to show up i can't believe he hasn't said a single word three seasons he was never there but he was there i guess it's gonna pop up in the future season i'm sure there's gonna be plenty of more seasons to come but who knows when that's gonna be but thank you for watching you with me and i hope to see you guys in the future seasons until then take care